Okay, you guys, so starting from 9%. So at 15 minutes mark, I will do the first lap. This is what they promised, that the car can get in 15 minutes, it can gain 50% of the battery. So let's see how true it is. Okay, as we're approaching 15 minutes mark, which is the ex-engineer for the Tesla Energy said Cybertruck is able to achieve like half the battery in 15 minutes. I think that claim is very accurate because he never mentioned what kind of charger they were using for that. So if they were using the 350 kilowatt charger, it's very much accurate because look, we are at 14 and a half and we charged 40%. So if that was like a faster charger, not the 250 maxed out, it's absolutely possible. So I don't think he lied. I think he was very accurate with that, that you can actually charge half the battery pack in 15 minutes with the 350 kilowatt. It's probably even quicker than that. So I would not be surprised if somebody actually charges it from like 2% to 52% in 15 minutes or less. Yeah, even with the 250 look, okay. Lap one, we charged, um, what is it, like 41%. So I have yet to see it dip into the 60s. And like I said before, on multiple occasions, pretty much every time I would charge before this update, it would easily go into the 60s for some reason from 70 to like 80 and that 80 will go back to like nearly 90 like 85 so let's see if it actually maintains this so jumps between like 90 and 80 so it actually keeps climbing to nearly 100 like i said before it would be like so it dipped the same way as previously but it did not dip into the 60s it stayed at about 90 and now it's going up to like 95. This time is actually very good for a charger that can only go to 250. And this is the time like a Model Y with the big pack, like with the 82 kilowatt. This is the time that the Model Y charges. I think we're gonna be done before 45 minutes. So to me, this is definitely a huge improvement right like they got it into the range of like a regular any other tesla even with the fact that these chargers are like not the most fa the fastest chargers that the subject can charge on so it's interesting to see if whenever somebody does the test on like the actual 350 kilowatts and see how quick the subject has to be the fastest charging tesla period like it has the biggest battery pack, yet it's gonna charge the quickest as well. Thanks to the new update and thanks to the 350 kilowatt chargers that Tesla does not possess yet. But whenever somebody does the test, it would be interesting to see the result of that. But so far, this is definitely, definitely in the range of like a Model Y. Okay, so 44 and 40 45 we added 97 kilowatt hours and it obviously was quicker than before when it charged from 20 to 90 so from 20 to 90 my record was 46 minutes and a half so right now it charged from 9 percent to 90 so it added 11 extra percent and yet it was still two minutes quicker so now let's get to the actual curve and the results and comparison to before the update. Here's the two curves side by side. You can obviously pause the video and look it for yourself. The left one is from Auto Spec Studios before the update. The right one is obviously mine after. Here them overlaid. The black one is obviously the new curve. As you can see, it's significantly better than the previous curve. And now let's go to the actual results in time so once again just pause to read pre-update after update significant difference in time and in total it will save you 11 percent versus the pre-update so i think it's a very good improvement